Our next order of business is the Treasurer's Report. Mr. Olshevy. Thank you, Mr. President. As Secretary Treasurer of the International Code Council Board of Directors, it is my duty and privilege to report to the membership on the financial position of the association. The ICC Board is focused on maximizing our membership's resources to provide the highest quality codes, standards, products, and services for all concerned with the safety and performance of the built environment. We have begun to see signs of a sustained recovery in the housing and commercial real estate market, and we remain optimistic that the U.S. economy will continue to improve. We are confident that working together, we will continue to meet the challenges and succeed in our mission. In 2013, ICC consolidated revenues were $57.7 million, an increase of $6.9 million compared to 2012. 2013 expenses were $53.2 million, a decrease of $3.8 million compared to the previous year. Overall net margin for 2013 was increased by $12.5 million. The three-year code adoption cycle improved substantially during 2013 from its low point in 2012. The cyclical improvement has continued into 2014 with the launch of the 2015 I-Codes and multiple state adoptions, ICC Evaluation Service and the International Accreditation Service revenues are also ahead of the prior year. We expect revenue from the sales of goods and services to exceed our 2014 budget target and anticipate we will exceed our operating net margin for 2014. Our recent financial performance has allowed us to replenish ICC's cash reserves that were drawn down during the economic downturn and slow recovery. Improved finances allow ICC to maintain a robust package of member benefits, including a full-day chapter education benefit, free code opinions, special pricing on ICC products, code of honor scholarships, chapter outreach efforts, and the ICC annual conference and other membership department support programs. We're also investing in technology, which is key to ICC's future. In 2013-14, we successfully launched the CDP Access System that provides greater access to and participation in the code development process. We moved to a new office in Brea, California, which improved collaboration spaces and capabilities. And since the publishing industry continues to evolve towards digital publications, ICC has invested in this technology to provide enhanced publication options for our members. More members and other customers are choosing to, to transact online with ICC as well. So we have begun a redesign of the website to be launched in 2015. The new website design will make it easier for members and all customers to do business with ICC. Other important areas of investment for ICC's future include new strategies for training and education and increased compensation for our dedicated and loyal staff. To help maintain cash reserves, we continue to manage working capital, accounts receivables, and inventory. Accounts receivables increased in 2013 due to the increase in sales for the year. We continue to reduce inventory while maintaining the ability to service our orders and that has made it possible for us to reduce the square footage in our warehouse by 70%. Working capital management is of critical importance to maintaining cash flow. Each year, our financial statements are audited by an independent accounting firm. Our current firm is BDO USA LLP. I am pleased to announce that the International Code Council and subsidiaries received an unqualified opinion for 2013. Thank you for allowing me to serve as your Secretary Treasurer, and I look forward to continuing to serve the Association in the years ahead. Mr. President. Thank you. In short, we have had an awesome year. Thank you, Mr. Olshevy. May I have a motion to accept the Treasurer's report? Is there a second? Is there any discussion? Seeing none. All in favor signify by saying aye. aye. Any opposed? Thank you. Motion carries.